Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm playing with clay, all you clay lovers. This is something I haven't done before, I don't think. We'll see. Um, I mean, I've done similar things. I'm making little ornaments with cookie cutters, and I got these from Walmart. They were three bucks. They just looked, they were little, and I had just gotten a, um, a little tree. One of those little trees you can get at Michael's. It has like the burlap bottom and it's just a regular fake Christmas tree, but it's small. And I bought a little set of ornaments to go on it and we put it on the front porch. And I thought, well, I can make little ornaments to go on that. It comes with a snowman, a Christmas tree, an ornament, and a gingerbread guy. So I just was playing, not really getting too fancy. Maya and I started out doing it. And uh, like here, here's your most basic. This one's one that Maya did. Just using stickles and mica powders. Let me come in a little bit. So this is just some red clay, mica powders and stickles. Super simple, right? And um, then, you know, I did this one where I started putting the crystals in there because I love my crystals. And I always use glass crystals because you can just stick them right in the oven mica powders and then this one had because what happens is these have that little plunger so you can you can cut the cookie but then you can plunge it and get the little marks on there as well so I just followed those and um, put some red clay in there but then I thought well let me put some bling so they're starting to get more fancy oh and we added a star just using a little cookie cutter another little mini cookie cutter um, and then the, the other ornaments, then I found some chains, so I start getting a little more creative. And I really didn't intend to get too fancy with these, but then I'm now I have little ball chain and little um, crystals in that one and stickles and, you know, so it starts getting a little too fancy. But then these are these, this is, so the, here's a little snowman. And I just followed the kind of the impression on the stamp. So I didn't do anything but just follow the, you know, the design that they have. Um, so it's super simple, you know, and this one's just clay, just clay and mica powders. I ended up putting white uh, and I guess blue on the hat. On this one I put gray, but then I added stickles to this one. So these are just made with clay. And another ornament I had to put little ball chain, which I love and, you know, I, I shouldn't waste these you know, think, but you know, I can't help myself. But then, look what I did. So I figured, all right, that's cute. I'll put them on the trees outside. But wait a minute, hold everything. I want to make a pin. So look at my pin. This is a pin. I just stuck. I used E6000, and it's pretty. It's been sitting overnight, and it's on there. Because with these type of pins, you want to make sure because you have. There's a lot of fiddling that you do like to get this in and out of the class. But look at the pin. So these little blings are sets that I've gotten. I think today I'm gonna do a silver one. Well, I don't know if I'll use these. Yeah, I was gonna, cause they were different colors. And this is, I'm running out of all the big ones on here. But it came with three different colors of crystals and different sizes so these were on clearance you know I love my clearance shopping and so um, maybe I'll use this one these are kind of all going to be the same and I love how this one turned out because it's the different colors orange yellow and red and then I use this little chain I have two packs of this I, and today I'm going to do one with you guys I'm going to do silver and this is a little thicker chain, a little bigger gauge. So this is super tiny. This is a little thicker, but I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna use silver clay for my star and for the base. And then we'll just fill in with some um, crystals. So I put a little clear crystal in the star. And then, like I tried, I was looking for a metal star and I had these little metal findings and a flower. And this star, it's just not, flat backed and it didn't work it just didn't work and it looks so much cuter with the clay so I just put that on there and then I did a where is he this guy and I made it a pin 
but I think these are perfect size for a pin, so that's why I did it. And this one, I need to, I need to change the color. I'm going to make another one of these, too, and change the color of the little blings in there because you can't really see them. But it's so cute. And look, I gave them pink cheeks. And I, you know, I add the mica powders, but I put this one, I put stickles all over it just to make it look like icing. So basically, I've already um, conditioned some clay. I have some green. Come here, Kiwi. Kiwi's here with me as always. Uh, my little partner in crime. This is a middle thickness. So let's see. It's a number five on my pasta machine, and I think that's good. I don't think you need it much thicker, although you do need to embed things in the clay. So, you know, depending on what you're planning on sticking into your clay, you want to watch that. The thickness matters in that case. And this is a Primo clay, Primo Accents, and it's called Green Glitter. I'm going to take that Christmas tree, and I don't think I'm going to plunge today. I'm going to, this one I did plunge. So it actually gave me where these were and these two lines, but then I added a third line. So I think I'm going to figure it out on my own today. I'm just going to use the cutter part, the cookie cutter, and voila. Now I might have to plunge a little to get it out. And there we go. So now this is my base. Now you can always do um, <clears throat> little you know, use your, this thing. I mean, you could make little tree marks on here. How would I do that? I'm gonna turn it upside down. So I'm not doing, you know, like this type of stuff, just to give it more texture. But I don't think we're gonna see this much because, and they're not really looking how I intended. But it's just to give it texture. Hey, that does look kind of tree-ish, all right. And then we're going to cut us a star, and I'm going to use the silver because I want to change, and I want to use that silver. This one is all about the gold, but I want to change it and use the silver. So I'm actually going to take this down to, like, mine goes, gets thinner the higher number. So this is like a 7 or an 8. Actually, that's too thin. For the star, you need it a little thicker because the star is going to stick out. So, I think I'm going to go with the five. I have to go with the five for the star. But for the base, I'm going to do a smaller, um, thinner, I should say, a thinner. So, I'm just going to stick this right up on there. A little up, like crooked is good. I don't mind it crooked. Gives it a little character. I have these little clear CZs. These actually have a little Aurora Borealis, but you know what? I did on the other star and I did like it. I kind of just made these little shine marks. I always love, and I tell you guys, see this is sticking up a little. Once it's, um, baked it won't it won't be an issue but because there's nothing underneath it it's a little trickier and you don't have to do that at all that's just me and you can't even really say it so but it's like the little like the light shine marks whatever and then I'm going to use a pencil I'm going to put my finger under it you make sure that yeah press that into the not really going in the center when you when you embed things into the clay you definitely distort it I'm gonna take that off huh gotta start over just to save the silver clay and the um the little bling where'd it go you know what we'll do aha I got it, trust me. I'll figure it out, kids. I could actually, no, I can't. I was gonna say, I'm gonna, I'll do another one. And 
this time we'll do all of the, the let me zoom back out a little because I don't want to be in when I get to the real details I'll try to remember but you know what we'll do we'll do it before I put it on the tray duh you know what I mean like we'll just this is gonna work out so much better this way I can make the marks holding it with my finger the little shines put the CZ in the middle I'm gonna put it down to do that because I'm gonna give it a press and you just have to this is so little that's all it's hard to maneuver but I'm gonna use the eraser just center there we go now look how easily that did that see all right sorry I get on camera hey listen I like to make mistakes you guys always talk about you I show my mistakes should I do the little lines on here did that look cute I kind of liked it I want to change it see I, I don't really love to do anything the same twice so let's make these little tree marks I can't really tell if they look right because I'm doing it upside down but I wanted to do it so that I could pull I like to pull and then put the star on now and I don't use adhesive I'd, I've said this before in my videos I just let the clay stick to it to each other now when I did the ornaments where I just threw them over here I made sure to make a hole so you got to make a hole if you're going to make an ornament so that you have a place and I just used a um, stylus just stuck it through and made sure that it was big enough so that is that all right now to make the base I'm going to use this um, I'm going to go thinner see this time you can go thinner because we're going to overlay it and it's not going to stick out so this is kind of like a number seven and I'm just going to use the bottom of this uh, stamp I keep calling it a stamp but it's a what is it cookie cutter and my little blade and I'm just gonna cut off that little base part and use that as you know little base and I didn't do this on all the like on the ornaments I just kept it all green so you can go as simple or as out uh, as you want to but because this is a pin I wanted to see like look I didn't do it on this guy because it was just a cutesy little quick thing and you know what I kind of want to take these beads out of here like see that's the thing you're never done if you know because I really would rather make this into a pin I might take these out of here so you, could, you want me to show you how you would do that? I mean, it's a perfectly good ornament, but look, this is already coming out. And I have a little um, thing over there. Because I, I don't use adhesive, so I'm taking that out. And then I'm going to take, I'm just going to bend the clay, actually break the clay. Because I really like these colors, and I want to use it for a pin. Because a pin is going to be used and seen every day, not like, um, these are just little cutesy, th not every day, but these are just little cutesy um, ornaments. And I can fill that with stickles. You know what? I'll take this out. And that way, I'll fill them with stickles, and it'll still be able to be used. It's just on a tree outside. It's not like anyone's going to really notice the details. So I might take all these out. See you guys sorry I was so I thought I was just gonna be so planned out and um, just make a quick tutorial but that isn't my way is it it isn't see I need these too I need these orange ones I'll fill these with stickles too all right I'll be right back all right I'm back look you, you don't even need to I just took my little pokey tool and it poked them right out. I got them out of, oh, I can't find it. 
anywho, um, yeah, so I'm happy because I, like I said, these are just stuff that I get on clearance and so they'll, I'll never get them again. And I like that they were different sizes, so I want to use them. So I'm going to use the silver chain and I thought about using the gold because it is a tiny bit smaller in gauge. Uh, or I don't know if that's what you would call it, the gauge of the, of the I think that's what you would say. Um, but I'm just going to press this in with, and I also have a wire cutter, like a cutting tool, because I'm going to cut it after, oh, here, I pulled them out of this. I needed the orange. But I'll fill that with um, stickles, and those can go outside. But these are pins, and I wanted them to be super cute, because this pin is super cute. This makes me so happy. I don't know why. Kiwi, doesn't it make you happy, too? I'm looking for something to press. I think I used the eraser. You know what? No. I'm going to use this big ball tool. And I'm just going to lay it across. There's someone that fires guns every weekend. I live kind of in a rural area. It's the Pinelands, actually. And, um, yeah, it's just gun shooting all day. Pop, pop, pop. It is a scary noise. Yeah. Pop, pop. He's just shooting. It's kind of annoying because, you know, you like to have a little quiet. And it snowed here yesterday. There's just a coating because it's very cold. I think it's probably at least 30 degrees. So I'm just going to cut that. And again, I did not use adhesive, which maybe I should be because you saw how I just pulled the ball chain out of here. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do three. I like the three. Three looked good. <clears throat> and like the plunger only had these two, but then I put it up top too. And actually I did that as an afterthought on the other one, but I like it with three. And then I can stick the, um, <clears throat> ornaments, my crystals, in between these layers. Sorry, I'm just trying to get that to go straight, and it won't. And listen, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do tend to, I say that, but then I want it to be pretty perfect. Uh-oh. That's okay. That's my vet telling me Kirby needs a shot. I know, I'm bad. I'm a bad parent. Um, the vet can be expensive, and I'm cheap, but she's the most important thing, right? Oh, Jesus. Look what I did. Sorry. Don't say Jesus. But I smushed it. All right. That's why polymer clay is so fantastic. You don't have to worry. Because you can just push it back into shape. And then this one, I mean, hey, listen. It's not rocket science, you guys. You guys can figure this out. Right? It isn't that difficult. Especially when you put things in the right places. So I'm just giving a press. And if it goes a little crooked, that's even better. Because, you know, what is this stuff called? Not tinsel. I love tinsel, though, on a tree. Um, this is probably like... I don't really know what it's called. Garland. It's called garland, right? And try not to mess the whole tree up. I did it again. I crunched the clay. So anywho, I'm not, all right, and then you must release it from the tile with your blade or you're going to really distort everything. All right, let's see what happened here. So I broke it. But again, just kind of push it into place. Even if I embed that in the clay a little bit, it's even better. All right, so that's that. And then we get to embed some of these super gorgeous, colorful, oh geez. All right, yeah, I know. So I'm gonna put a red there and a, re uh, a red here, a big orange here and a big orange here. Do 
do, do, do. And then I need some yellows, right? Maybe an orange over there. And then I should have some yellows. I think there was a lot more yellows for some reason. What's this one? Hopefully it's a big yellow. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Okay, sorry. And then what's this one? An orange. But I have these little tiny ones. We'll put a tiny red. And a tiny, we'll put the tiny red all the way over here. So it's just a matter of what you like. And that's basically it. So I'm going to bake this. I'm going to embed all these, bake it, and then we will add some mica. No, I'm going to add mica first. Oh, yes, yes. I definitely like to add mica before I bake. Sorry. I was, I'm not, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to put this little, this red one up top and the medium because I don't have a medium red. We'll, we'll put that there and we'll put see it's just back and forth with um, design. I think I'm going to save the big orange too. And Put a little yellow, a little red, and orange. What else do I need? Hi, Kiwi. She makes the most cute noises. How's that look? And then, you know what else I did? See, I don't know if I like that. God, am I the most picky person in the whole world? Oy vey. That looks good. <laughs> and I did make little, little dots. All right, so I got to push these in. I'm using my eraser. And it's flat, so hopefully we'll go in straight. Because that matters like when you see the reflection. If they're in crooked, it won't be as blingy from the front. All right, and then I did take like a little, a very small ball tool, this guy, and just make little other impressions. And you know what, you could put clay in here. So see, I could get so crazy. I like it though, it's fun, right? Wow. I think it's fun. All right. That's, oh, one more thing. I put these little impressions on the base. Come on. It's too cute. Can you see it? Oh, I know I'm a little down. Let's move it up. And we're going to put some mica powders on here. Now, I used... Green for the green, just to, and this is actually a glitter cl glitter clay. I can't find it now, my green. Anyway, but this is called spring green. And I'm just gonna take my finger and a little bit of that and just go over the surface. And you can use a brush if you really wanted to get in there. Like I have this little brush Probably a little easier to get it in all those nooks and crannies, right? Because the chain kind of holds you away from the surface. But it really adds a lot of shine. You could add stickles, and I would add these stickles after it's baked. I like to add the mica powders before it's baked because the, the clay is nice and um, sticky. So it takes these mica powders nice. Look how gorgeous. And then when I did this one, I put gold um, mica powders on the gold clay, and it really popped it. But I don't know that the silver, I'm going to do it. I have silver. Um, silver and gold. We just saw that last night. What is that one? That's uh, Rudolph. 
silver and gold. Bobby, I should have Christmas music on because I'm enjoying it. My husband does lights out front with the music that goes with it. And, uh, oh yeah. Makes it more sparkly. I get excited. All right, so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna bake that. And then we'll make a snowman. You wanna make a snowman? All right, so basically that's it. Um, and then after it's baked, you would attach these little pins and you can get these at the craft store in different sizes and shape, well, different kinds, but I'm gonna, you know, maybe I'll put the silver one though, although it's much smaller. I kind of like the bigger one. And I just used E6000, which is on my desk somewhere. But, uh, and then I also had these, here's my E6000. Um, these are just bigger cookie cutters, and I thought you could really make a really cool ornament because these are more ornament size so here's the difference in size you know like this definitely says pin to me and this says more ornament but look how big and elaborate I could do that maybe I'll do one for the end and um, I'll share it with you but this one you know because they have that impression these are for cookies I don't know that I I'm gonna I'll just see what happens because it's not too thick you're gonna need a lot more clay you know and you're gonna need it to be at least a quarter inch thick but it's cute I might have to try that all right so that's this ornament how I mean um button what is it <laughs> kiwi what is it it's a pen it's so cute I'm sorry I'm going to wear these for sure. I love it. Okay. Or a gift or, you know, just for that person who, you know, because look how quick it took. It didn't take any money because I, um, you know what you want to do too is just give this, when you hit, hit it with mica powders, I just like to mist it with a little water. So I'm going to spray the water like from far away and just let it kind of go through it because that's supposed to set the mica powders. Oh my God, that is so cute. All right, so to do a snowman. Am I doing a snowman? Yeah. I have some white. I'm gonna just give this, and I'll do it out of five again. Boobity doo, silver and gold. Uh-oh. Cause I'm working with white. I just try to keep it a little neater. Um, where are you, little snowman? Um, should I plunge it? I think I'm gonna plunge it. Let me go back up because I know I'm a little out of the shot. My um, I could move the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna move the camera a teensy bit. Okay. I just moved my tripod forward a little because I, I need to have this close to me. So I got the cut and then we're going to plunge. I mean, these are cheesy. They're not, you know, the mechanism isn't, you know, it's cheesy. It's $3. So, all right, there he is. Now I kind of went a little deep on the scarf, but I think it would be okay. You know, I mean, it didn't come through, but see, that's it because I'm rough. I'm so rough. And I am going to do, we're going to do some additional, let's see, I did a blue scarf. Let's do a green scarf. I think I want to do a green scarf. So I have that glittery green. And I'm going to go down in size because it's just an overlay on top of here. I can't see it as well because I'm on a white tile and I'm just gonna follow those impressions so the scarf I'll cut out but the I just need to get this I'm gonna make the number seven and like I said you could go crazy with this so let's get this down to a seven and you know just embellish it like crazy and make it however you want so let's see I'll use the little 
Ugh. He's blue. Okay, good. I could just do it like this. And then I'll know how big the scarf is going to be. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and just go like from here to here. And then, yeah, I'm just going to do it like that and lay that on top. It should fit because it's the same. It didn't fit, did it? I wonder why. Silver and gold. Right, I'll use that as a guideline. And I'll make my own. It's a little thicker too. Yeah, the girls were out in the snow yesterday. OMG. They, you know, they just sit there. It's not even deep. It's like five inches. And they make snow angels and it's just what kids do. It's fun to watch, but I don't want to do it. Alright, so I'm putting that on there. And let it kind of go over the back. And it would even be cuter if it totally went over the back. And maybe I can use this for this piece. Let's go like, yeah. I'm going to make it a little shorter. And make it kind of overlap. Cute. Come on, this is cute now, see? Now we're talking. And then I used a little piece of brown for his arm. See that indent? It's very thick. I really didn't need to indent it that deep. But I just use this and I roll it out like a little snake. And I'll fill in this. I actually like this for the tip. But yeah, it's super deep. It didn't need to be this deep. But that's kind of cute, right? It looks like an arm-ish. I mean, you could put another little finger on it. Like it's a branch. Am I heading away? Probably. Um, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. All right, so a little piece of orange. Let's go. I'll go in a little closer. I just don't want to come out of the shot, but I'm going to make a little orange nose, like a carrot. So I'm just rolling it out into like a carrot shape. Make a point, and then I'll cut it with my exacto right about there. And you can make it kind of curl up. Let's see. Here's my other noses. I like the little eyes, this guy's eyes better. So I'm going to try and like kind of follow those shape. One's bigger, one's smaller because um He's kind of turned to the side. That's a tiny little nose. I don't know if I like it like that, that tiny. Um, do I? And then black for the eyes. Roll out a snake and just kind of roll up a ball. Um, I'm going to go a little smaller but I'm thinking do I want it usually I take my stylus and I kind of indent the but I kind of want to keep this round I don't want it to be indented oh come on that's cute all right and then I'll make the other one a little smaller and see if it looks right we won't push it in if it doesn't but I think it gives it the illusion that he's kind of turned to the side 
yeah I like it I think I'm gonna go a little bigger with his nose da, 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 da. so yeah this is all you have to do and you know what you don't even need a cookie cutter how hard is it to just make it's not hard to just make two circles and a hat shape you know you could make your own snowman pin super simple and um, give it as a little gift a teacher's gift right oh wow this carrot looks more I like it because it has a fatter end to it but it's really hard to place these tiny pieces Sorry, I'm having trouble. It was stuck to my finger. Yeah, I'm having trouble sticking it. Getting it where I want it. There we go. Go. I have all these fancy tools and I don't use them. Oh, I like the shape of that much better. And then the hat. Now, for the hat, I'm going to roll out some black clay, thin, kind of like a seven again. And I'm just going to use the, um, the stamp, or I keep calling it a stamp, but you know, the cookie cutter. And just do the hat section. And then cut that down to size. So kind of like that and place it on top. And you know what? He could have a little buckle or something on top of his hat. That would be cute, but I, I mean, it's so tiny and small. Um, so what else does he need? He needs, maybe we should give him one little, a little mouth. Just curling up out of there. I didn't give my other guy a mouth. And so I'm getting too elaborate, right? I'm getting too um, crazy. But, you know, that's, I like being crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in there. I think my husband just came home. Silver and gold. Yep. Hey Joe, making a video. And I mean, he doesn't have a pink mouth really. He has a black mouth, right? Um. I kind of like it. Oh, I think I like it. I like it, Joe. Silver and gold. I don't know. I do like it. I do. All right, you know what else I'm going to give him? Eyebrows. I don't know that you'll be able to see the eyebrows, but we need to just make a line like this for eyebrows. And how about some little, like, stuff on the scarf. On the other scarfs, what did I do? I made dots on this one and I made little lines on this one. I kind of want to do lines again. A little farther apart and go this way. I like the dimensional scarf and then I think I want to do something on his hat as well. See how it has this little indent thing? I think I'll do it green. Should I? Maybe red. I think I'll do it red. And I'm just going to use, um, no, I think I'll cut it. I'll go through here and we'll cut it. I just did that with um, the thin like setting. It was a number seven. So I'm just going to cut a like small band. 
to go on his hat. That's cute, right? Let me cut the edge. Oh, that's adorable, right? You know what you could put? You could put a little holly or I don't know. I get excited, don't I? I'm so weird. But this makes me happy. I don't know why, it just does. So he's got a little red hat band. And what should we do to it? It doesn't have to have anything, but it could have like a little leaf couple of leaves or a bling or something. All right, let me remove him from here. So that's a cute pin, right? I'm just pinching the black over the edge a little more. Um, I think, I do think something else on the hat. A green leaf. It has to be a green leaf. And I can't really make, um, I have a green like bling. I could just put a green bling on there. I have these tulip ones. These. So you could just go like this. Or berries, right? Two little tiny red ones with a green. That could make it look like berries. Because this doesn't look like a leaf at all. At one time I did have um, these tiny little red ones could look like little red berries. Oh, could they? Hey, I think they could. I don't know. I'm going to put, I'm going to do it because I just think it looks cute with having bling. So we're gonna press this down. Oops. And that's the thing, when like when you do press into the clay, it's gonna distort. Um, and then I'll press oh these down as well. But I like it. It's good, it's good, it's good. Alright. I mean it doesn't really look like it's just, you know, that's art, right? That makes it arty because I use my imagination. All right, so now we get to add some mica powders. So let's do um I kind of want to do a line um on the brim right here. I don't know why, I just think it needed something. All right, so we're gonna use white on the snowman. I'm gonna use the brush, because I can just get it where I want it to go. But look, it really shines them up. Can you see that? Oh, pink cheeks. I'll get it off. I'm going to put pink cheeks. I got to have pink cheeks. Let me find my pink. Come on, that's so cute. And a little more white. And I liked adding silver. You could, I'll show you what it, the difference is. So here's white. And I mean, you could just go crazy. I should put, I'll put some green on the green because the green looks really good on the green. As you saw with the Christmas tree. Ooh, this isn't it. This is a different color. Here it is. The spring green. I'm just going to use my finger. Um, so yeah, here's the difference, um, with the hats. I did one hat with blue on the black and one with the gray. I'm going to use the silver, I mean, the silver. I'm going to definitely use silver. 
So this was so fun, you guys. I really had fun, and I might do a few more of these today. I can't find my silver. So I will bake and then come back. Here it is. Had to be here, you know. And what about the red? Um, all right, we're good. I'm just going to use... I don't have a red mica powder. Kind of stinks. I have like I guess pink gold would look nice. I think I'll do that. But I wish I had like a really nice bright red. This is just a highlight. I gave it a highlight, right? Oh my god, he's so cute. See, that's going to be a pin. All right, so we have that and this. All right, so I'm going to bake these, and I'll be back when they're done. I know I take forever in my videos, you guys. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. They are all done. I just brought them upstairs, and I'm going to just wipe off the gems. So just get the mica powder off the gems, and they sparkle. So much. So cute. So see I put those little do 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 and I just made a um he's in the oven now. I just made a big snowman. I made this guy. So maybe I'll come back and show you that in a different video. I'm going to get two of these pins and my E6000. So look, here's the the gold. I think the gold just shines more because the gold is just a brighter metal. But they're so cute, you guys. I kind of like that I did the um the little like tree lines, you know, made it look more uh like detailed. And then I didn't have a snowman but you know what we could put some stickles on here oh my back my back is starting to hurt listen I'm trying to get in shape and strengthen my core and it just really it's, it takes a minute I'm gonna make sure this opens okay and just put a little e6000 on here and then stick it to the back uh, as you can tell, Kiwi is calling me. I think she hears me talking. And she's like, Mom, I really don't know why you put me back because you're not done. And, you know, I made a mess, but you basically do that. <clears throat> Let's put a little stickles on here. I have so many, like look, there's so many different, I call them, I was about to say flavors, stardust, icicle, crystal, and they're all kind of running out. I think this one has the biggest, this is what I used on my other snowman. It has the biggest um, glitter in it. Some of them have super fine glitter and some have, like this stardust, I think I'm going to use that. That has like a really fine glitter. But let's just put a little on the edges, like maybe on his hat, like snow is falling. It's not coming out. I think they're all getting low. I use clear a lot. Can't get it to come out. So you get the idea. That's basically it. And I am so excited. This was so fun. And I may just be playing with clay today, but my back is really hurting a little. Put a little on here like it got caught, you know. And a little around the bottom. That's it, just for a little extra. And let me see the, the difference between these guys. See, I like how I made the scarf like 
more dimensional by like putting it on top of his uh, other piece, you know? So each time I get a little more adventurous. So I'm, you should see the snowman that I just made. He's so cute. I actually tried to shade him with mica powders, like how I would do it with floating to give him like, so, but I use blue on the white. I'll do another share. I'll do a share of it. But there we go. And I mean, you could put stickles on here too, but that's it, you guys. These are so cute little pins. Alright, you guys. Have fun. Thanks for watching.